What are you doing here? Yeah. <laughs> Stress free. Wow. <laughs> so that means this is more durable than the. Oh, okay. I see. Wow. So he started with this and it takes 2,000 birds. Wow. And this one, 8,000 birds. Okay, right so now we have 8,500. 8,500 birds mm -hmm. plus 2,000 birds, mm -hmm. making over 10,000 birds. This is huge. Wow. So days. Wow. This is huge. Okay. Oh, isolation. Wow, wow, I'm impressed. Isolation center for the birds. <laughs> so how, how many acres have you acquired for yourself? Right now this this particular one is like two acres and then three plots. Okay. But we have another two acres over there. The other side. Okay, so this is someone else's farm. Yeah. I see. From poultry farm, <laughs> now we have goats, pigs. Man, you don't need to come back to America. <laughs> Let's, you no, know, no, no, you don't need to come back. I have baby goats. Wow. And those are your pigries. Mm. And I should have gotten time and spent the whole day here. <laughs> Literally spent the whole day. These two are pregnant. One, one oh, okay. Wow, this is huge. So, how much does a pig go for? Ah, a fully the, grown pig. A fully grown pig. Is it one kilo? Is twelve Ghana cities. So they have to weigh. It. Wow. So it, go, it goes by the weight. Mr. Jabem. Yeah, 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 yeah. So he's also yeah, investing. Yeah, uh, wow. But I know you have a brother. Francis. Yes. Yeah, actually for the pigs. He's the one in charge of the pigs. pigs. okay. So the whole poultry farm, you're the one in charge. Mm -hmm. So currently, what we have under construction is a fish pond. Fish pond is going to take over 2,000. Now, what type of fish are you? We are trying to do like a mud fish. 
mad fish okay now i know tilapia sells very hot because uh, even in accra people are grilling one tilapia for like 40 50 60 ghana uh -huh. Why don't you go into tilapia farming? Then Why? Be because it will be oh. two. So they so, will be doing the other one at the other side. Okay. And that one will take tilapia. Oh, nice. <laughs> Man, Rita, I'm impressed. Definitely, definitely, we have to send a message out there and tell people how profitable farming is in Ghana. So, it will be a very great idea for a lot of people in the diaspora to come back home and start investing because you can never go wrong with farming. Wow have your poly tanks Rita what did you just say it's, it is not bad right you are talking about 8,000 birds 2,000 birds and you are asking me if it is not bad man this is outrageously huge this is huge just look at the structure alone Rita, I'm jealous. You yeah, might you might as well just employ me so that I stay I stay in Ghana. <laughs> you. So in total, how many workers do you have? I think we have about either 14 or 12. Wow. Mm. Roughly how many eggs do you guys uh how many crates of eggs mm. do you collect in a day? Right now, first we used to call it like uh, 169 crates. <laughs> 169 crates? Uh, but now it's dropped to one. We are between 130, 139, 120, depending on the weather. 120 crates? <laughs> okay. It takes a lot of guts to come up with something like this. Because when we're driving on our way to the farm, I'm like, where at all is Rita sending us to? <laughs> like, it takes a lot of guts for you to locate a plot of land or an acre or two acres of land and have the vision wanting to start a farm. It's <laughs> <laughs> French. Mm -hmm. Gaduna you Wow. What other languages do you speak? Only the Ethiopian. Only three. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I learned you are the chief caretaker of the farm. <laughs> My name is Senyo. Okay, me, I'm Jack. Jack. Yeah. Nice meeting you. Thank you. All right. So when you are ready, you can walk us through mm -hmm. and uh, we'll ask mm -hmm. you a few questions. And we'll take it from there. All right. Yes, land farm. Yes. Yes, land farm. Okay. Okay. Land farm. Is it land? L E N. L E N. L E N. Yeah. Land farms. Yeah. Okay. Nice. All right. So. So you have the white birds and the and the brown birds. Okay. And before we go, okay. I'd like you to do the yeah, Okay, no problem. Yeah. That's more. Alright. Mm -hmm. ah. Okay, here we are having white birds over here. Okay. Mm -hmm. And these are purely white birds? Yeah, white birds. Yes. Yeah. How many birds in total do you have here? We are having about 4,500 birds over here. Okay. Mm -hmm. 4,500 mm -hmm. birds? Yeah. Yeah, and Ex yeah. Excluding the other side? No, including the other side. Yeah, okay. Yeah. 4,500. And on this stretch? This stretch, we are having about 3,100 birds. 
Okay, so in total, we are talking about 8,000 birds. Wow. Yeah, the farm, the total of the farm, we are having 8,500 8, birds. Asking you random questions, mm -hmm. and we want to know what are the challenges you face in the farm? Yeah, okay. I would say, first of all, that is a of challenges. Okay. Yeah. Observe. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you know that something is wrong, I will know the particular thing. That is wrong with the, with the birds. birds. Okay. You isolate them. Yeah, because so I them. saw the isolation center yeah, right there. It. Okay. So if you know those type of things, no matches any challenge. Any challenge. Okay. Now, in regards to the feeding, mm -hmm. uh, how how does your feeding process go? Yeah. I'm saying we feed them early in the morning. Okay. Let's say 5 30 o'clock we are here. Oh. And we start feeding them and 11 to 12 o'clock we feed them too. Wow. Twice a day. So that's twice a day? Yeah. Okay. Uh, the two of them they eat uh, two thousand uh, two and half bags a day. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Now, so this is your water intake? Yeah. Okay. Water pressure. Now, a lot of people know the purpose of lighting, mm -hmm. but if you can tell us why do you guys have lights in the farm? Yeah, lights stimulates the production of eggs. Okay. As you see, as they can see, or the other, as they see the lights, they know where the food is, where okay. the water is, so okay. that they can go to, or they can go to this or the. How long have you been operating? Four to five years now. Wow. Okay. And then you strictly do layers. Yeah. Okay. Only layer. Only layer. How many birds, how many eggs or uh, crates of eggs do you guys generate in a day? Yeah. Right, right now. Uh, we are having some, let's say, the production we use right now. Okay. The total of bed we are having now should give us at least 160 crates of eggs a day. 160 crates a day. a day? But right now, we are having 130, 130 to 130 crates a day. Wow. That is very huge. 130 to 130 crates a day. Uh, would you say poultry is profitable? Mm -hmm. How profitable is poultry farm? I say poultry is one of the business that is rentable. Give them the right thing, the right feed, the right feed, the right water, the right med medication, vaccination, vaccination. Then make sure your poultry will give you better profitability. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Now, do you have a veterinary officer in the farm or? You, you outsource for veterinary officers to take care of the vaccination? Actually, I do everything in the farm. Wow. If I see that this thing is beyond your capability, your capability then you consult. I, I consult. Okay. Wow. Rita mentioned your name <laughs> and told me you were the right person to talk to. And I'm very, very much impressed. Thank you. This is very big. Okay. Now, so. How do you go about collecting the eggs? Yeah. Collecting the eggs, uh, we start from 5 o'clock in the morning okay. with buckets. As soon as we feed them, some, some of the birds, they lay during the night time. Okay. So if you feed them, after feeding them, you guys collect the eggs. From their laying nest. I okay, so I hope, I hope they have a laying nest. Yeah, okay. it's their laying nest. So this one, they don't start laying nest, that's why. Not in okay. They are young birds. Oh, okay. They are young birds. Okay. But these ones are already laid. Yeah, they are already laid. Okay. Wow. So these are their main nests. Now I can also also see sun dust. Yeah. What what is the purpose of uh, the sun dust? Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, we have to put sun dust in the pen mm -hmm. so that they will not directly lay. Oh, no, uh, I mean, drop their eggs. No, not. Eggs, uh, particularly, uh, they are feces. Okay. On floor directly. Okay, so the feces 
Yeah, we, we must put soldiers so that they finish to be on soldiers. On the for us to be collecting, collecting them easy. Okay, so how often do you collect the feces? After three weeks or one month, we collect them. You collect them yeah. and spread another, another sonda on the floor. Okay. Because this one is new sonda. Yeah, this, this is pretty much it's very new. Yeah, we just collect the old one today. Wow. So we spread another one. Now, how long does it take a bird, a fully grown bird, to completely uh, finish laying eggs. Thank you very much. Uh, as you treat them well, they can send you up to three years. Wow. Two and a half years to three years laying time. So after two or three years, what do you do with those birds? Yeah, we just think another one to sell those to So we are done with They're laying them. eggs and you can also sell the meat. The meat. How old are these ones? This one they are 10 weeks now. 10 weeks old? Yeah, 10 weeks okay. old. And those on the other stretch? And they are having uh, one and a half years right now. Oh, wow, okay. So they are still very productive. Yeah, very, very productive. And laying eggs? Yeah, laying okay. eggs. Okay. And how about those on our yeah, left? Those ones they are having to take eggs with this one. With this one, okay. Alright. Nice. Well, I came to have a look for myself Thank you. and spread the message out there let people know that it is very possible it is very possible we are championing the cause to allow people in the diaspora to come back home and invest Thank you. Thank you very much. so with this we can send the message out there and this is very evident it is not something fake Okay. You can see this. This is very evident. Yeah. This is, you know, a, 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 a clear indication that if if we put, put our uh, if if we put pull our resources together, we'll be able to, you know, gain something. Gain something. Yeah. And like you keep saying, home is home. Home is home. That's yeah. Right. Home is home. Wow. Okay. So this is just a new thing. So after this one, after I'm done here, this one. Okay. okay, so this so is the oldest pen. Yeah, oldest pen. Okay, and it holds how many birds? Uh, 1,200 birds. Wow. Okay. okay. So this is a fairly new pen. Yeah, fairly new pen. Okay. And I also learned there are other projects yeah. that you guys are partaking in. So you have the. the Fish pond, yeah, fish pond. Then that will hold mud fish. Yeah, mud fish. Yeah. And tilapia, tilapia. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Okay. And then you also have a small goat farm. Yeah, goat farm. On and the you, other and side, the and the pigry. the pigry. Wow. <laughs> wow, this is huge. So we are walking to the isolation pen. Okay. Yeah. So this is the isolation pen right here. So these birds are not. They are not doing, doing well. Well. Yeah. Okay. Some are having some disabilities. Okay. Of walking. Walking. Or pecking the this in uh, each other. Okay. Uh -huh. So we bring them here to treat them over here. I see. After they recovered, you send them back send to them the big back. pens. Now, how long would they take? According to the what is wrong with them, you consider what is wrong, wrong with them. Yeah, okay. because when they are here and we bring you, them, you move them. Yeah, we move them back. Now, what is the purpose of this plastic yeah. lining? Sometimes you may see the bears feeling cold. Okay. So, so they need some warm warmth, so we bring down the so system. they can keep yeah, warm. They can keep warm. Or if we force, we should not inside okay. the pen. Nice. Alright. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm very happy to see Mr. Seigneur. Yeah, Mr. Seigneur. And I'm Jacques. With his friends. They've made a short visit to the Farm. Okay. Yeah, to see how it's going to be. Yeah, it's going to be a short visit. 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 Je suis très content de les voir. Land, Land Farm. Land Farm. L-E-N Farm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah.
j'étais content de les voir et bon je leur souhaite au fait un bon retour de leur service merci beaucoup so I don't understand anything he said, but I'll look for an interpreter. Yeah, that, that's it. Yeah, I'll look for an interpreter and I'll put a message out there for I'm you guys. I'm just saying that I'm happy to see you okay. at Land Farms, <laughs> Mr. Senor. Senor. Yes. Uh, you are here to see how the farm, farm is, is doing. Yeah, okay. The farm is doing. So I'm happy to see you and I wish you uh, <laughs> success. Yeah. <laughs> From Holland, yeah. wow. No, no, here you see, here or in Africa, the way they hatch the the the, the, the best, mm. they don't hatch uh, quality best for us. Okay, you see. <laughs> but so, but people don't know. I see. Unless you send you uh, you buy them from the Holland or uh, Belgium. Belgium. Yeah. Okay. Belgium. Belgium. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow. Now, is it on? Is it on expensive? No, no. It's good. Okay. If you buy from, if you buy from them, the best are healthy. Oh, I see. I see. But here, small time, the best will be dying, so you not get your profits. Wow. Mm -hmm. From them. How do you bring them? By plane. Yeah, we take them. From Fly them in. Yeah, yeah. Wow. We take them from airports. Right here. Wow. So you have to sell them. Here. No, no, you don't, this, you don't these are strictly sell. layers yeah, for the production of, of eggs. eggs. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah. So after so you the eggs like yeah. so. yes, and after two, two and three, and half years, uh, two and a half years to three years, when they are no longer producing eggs, they sell the birds. In Canada, and yes, the day old chicks. Wow. In, inside the pen is extremely clean. <laughs> You don't smell nothing. It's extremely clean and neat. Wow. So what solutions are this? Uh, we put disinfectant inside. Okay. Uh, D4 disinfectant. Okay. It's one of the powerful disinfectant that kills uh, some disease. If you breathe some disease, disease, you put uh, your feet inside. Feet. Okay. It will kill. I see. Before you enter. Uh, Rita, I need employment. Rita. Roughly, how much did you spend for the first pen? You, you probably don't remember. How about the second pen? <laughs> Give us a round figure. A round figure. Maybe this one. Just the structure will be around twenty-eight thousand. Wow. You can answer this. And this one will be around forty something thousand. Wow. Just the pen. Would you advise people to go into partnership? Yeah, you can go into partnership if you cannot do it. By yourself because <laughs> <laughs> that's that's uh, yeah, the capital, capital intensive yeah. yes yeah. and how about the profits nah, it's not bad it's good so you can come and do it <laughs> 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 so let's say if i have twenty thousand ghana cities mm -hmm. would you advise me to go into poultry yeah you can start you can start with maybe how many birds thousand birds, thousand birds. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. I see. And you also need but an maybe expert. There might be uh, other structures that are less expensive. There could be. Yeah. yeah. Because always they said these ones are too expensive. Structures. Really? Mm -hmm. Wow. How did you get that show? It's too expensive. Wow. But. Yeah, I like to take me long. Okay. Yeah. I got okay. Yeah. I see. Wow. This is very impressive. Now, this is a purely Ghanaian owned farm. Okay? I'm repeating. This is purely owned by a Ghanaian. I feel like staying here. If only you guys will look for a place for me to. <laughs> All right. Well, it's been nice talking to you. Thank you. And 
we hope to come back here some other time. All right, thank you. This is this is a second time. Oh my goodness. Wow. Yeah, this is big and so clean. Wow. 80 crates. Wow. Okay. <laughs> what are you doing here? In Ghana. Yeah. I'm enjoying myself. <laughs> Stress free. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right. Okay. Wow. Dating. You know, he just waited and then he was, oh, let's go to the village. Okay, come back here and do 10 minutes. This is not 10 minutes. Huh? This is like a whole, a whole day. Yeah. Excursion. A whole excursion, excursion. I'm telling you. Yeah. Peaks, eh? Oh, okay. So, we hope to come back soon. Okay. Yes, we hope to come back soon. Next year. Yeah. So every year, every year. Yes. Yeah, we have to. Every year, we have to. Yeah, and once you get something year. doing here. <laughs> Next year, but I'm not sure. Okay. <laughs> I'm not sure. Man. You're enjoying life here. That is, you know, the most important thing. Stress free. I mean, there is, it's a different kind of stress. Yeah. You know, but over there, clocking. Then you dominate. While I'm Marco, you do it for the second time, they write you up. So, but this is our own land. Yeah. One day we we'll all come back home and invest. Yes. We have to enjoy the fruit of our labor. We have to enjoy on our own soil. Definitely. It's been nice talking to you guys. Thank you so much. All right. Rita, how much do you sell a crate? <laughs> 20, 20 times 80. That's every day. What? That's a lot. Looks like we are throwing money at will. Yeah. <laughs> you see, it's, it's the gut, eh? What do you know about what you Normally, farms say it has to be Yeah. 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 Wow. Hey, okay. okay. One man, thirty thousand. Wow. This is our pack. If she approves of it, I'll put it on YouTube <laughs> so everybody can see it. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay. All right, God bless you. Okay, Rita. Me a phone. Okay. Bye bye. Oh, in Kenya, in Ewumi, in Kakuti, Ewumi. JK International. Many. Many. Oh yeah, I have bank. Yeah. Very good. Yeah, the guy. You can see that the guy is very good. Yeah. He's dedicated. The guy is so dedicated. Yeah. Dedicated to his job. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. God bless our homeland. Ghana. Unstoppable. 
Make a make a 